down there. Hello, hello, hello. Peace, baby. Prospector trip. It's kind of a lifelong dream getting uh, solar at my house. And, um, and so I uh, set it all up in my shop, as you know, or some of you may know. But uh, yeah, shop's still being modified. I bought some better batteries, you know, I bought some, uh, you know, some prismatic 200 amp hour cells and uh, 400 amp hours worth at 48 volts. Yeah, it's tons of power out there in the shop and I'm very impressed with the way the power snaps like a vacuum cleaner or something that pulls a lot of current right to life. Bam! So anyway, yeah, starting in on the frame for the uh, solar panel and I gotta dig my holes uh, and uh, put my posts in. I'm gonna put nine posts in the back, nine posts in the front at our location. Uh, due south is about the best spot for a fixed uh, array. So anyway, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, the hole, I dug down about a foot, but then I had to wet it a little bit and then bam, I was right down there then. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We got, how many got done? Three. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. Okay, let's roll here, baby. Let's roll. Okay, man, we're going with black paint. Peace, baby. Prospector trip. I got a, I got a couple of uh, the posts kind of uh, temporarily stationed there. Um, I got a, a string on the ground, of course, and uh, I got that measured out so it's a square and uh, it's fairly straight. And uh, what I've done is I've basically. Uh, just uh, adjusted the, you know, the tilt on them until they were exactly uh, vertical. And uh, so straight up and down here. And then uh, basically between the, the holes or between the posts, uh, we need uh, seven and a half feet. Um, so what I've done is I've poked this a couple times with the pike just to get things going because the spot's right about there seven and a half feet and four inches in like that one there is uh, four inches in from the string by my foot here so anyway i'm just gonna keep punching those holes along there 
I'm not going to cement anything uh, for a day or so to make sure everything is hunky dory because, <laughs> yeah, once you, once you put cement on it, <laughs> it could be serious if something's wrong. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah. Yeah, go big or go home, right? <laughs> yeah, the size of that mother now. That's a... so anyway, yeah, dug the holes uh, a little bit over uh, three feet, about three feet and three inches. It's about as deep as I can get them conveniently. And I think that's plenty. This one here I had to oblong a little bit just uh, to get everything perfectly square and uh, straight up and down and whatnot. All right, anyway, I gotta dig this hole. I'll put you on fast forward on a track. You don't need to stand there and watch for a half hour. I'm sweating, grunting, and farting, and pooping, and all that stuff. Okay, there we have it. Uh, yeah, the pipe, of course, will be right here, right? On the this side of the pipe, on the right side, you know, that's where the 90 will have to be. So, it'll be right here between the 88 and 90. That hole is about right. This one here, we got 180. So, the pipe's gonna be over here. So, I gotta dig this one a little bit this way. Shovel or two. We got 270. Pipe's gonna be right here between 68 and 70, so that one's perfect. This one here is the only one that's gotta go over uh, about yeah, a little bit more than an inch or two. Maybe, yeah, maybe about two inches. So we'll do that. Yes, we will. Peace, baby. Hard, see how long we can go. See how long we can go. Hey, give it to me. I know you want to get it, but don't, okay? Looks pretty good, I think. Except going up to the uh, Home Depot or Lowe's, one of the two. Maybe Home Depot. It's closer to some other stuff I want to go to. And I'm uh, going to get uh, 36 bags of cement for my solar project. That's right, you got to cement those poles in there so it doesn't blow off. Anyway, we love you, baby. I'll bring you back here and show you some more solar stuff, I'm pretty sure. it up quite a bit. We still level? Oh yeah baby we're pretty close. Uh -huh. Peace baby prospector trip. Hey I want to give you a final update here uh, for uh, I conclude this video. Um, you can see what I got done there right? Got all of the bottom done. All of the top, everything's, you know, cemented in three feet deep. 
and we can bolt it on tight. And I don't have uh, any real support tight, just kind of a temporary support. Uh, I might end up doing one like this with one going this way too on the ends and in the middle. But I got to do also something here, you know, for racking support this way. Anyway, uh, yeah, coming along. I just, uh, I just a few minutes ago, I just put this panel up here just for to kind of mock it up so I can, you know, just look at it and uh, think about it a little bit. I didn't measure anything or anything. I just simply did that. I think the rails got to go out here a bit more. And uh, in addition to that, of course, when I'm all done, I think I have to tie all these ends together here. Uh, I think it'd be better for support. Anyway, we're rocking, baby. I think it's looking pretty good. It's getting close, baby. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty terrific, though. These are old stock, but brand new. So new old stock, right? And uh, yeah, I got them for about 80 bucks a piece. I'm really happy about that. They're, uh, these ones here, is this an LG? Yeah, these are LGs here. But uh, yeah, I got 20 LGs and I got uh, 20, uh, I think they're Telsons. Anyway, they're, uh, they're all good quality panels from what I can tell. Looking them up and whatnot. For 80 bucks, I can't whimper about it, you know? Yeah, I think they'll be just fine. All right, that's it. I'm starting to I'm starting to to drift because it's late and I'm tired, and it's been raining like mad. However, uh, it was nice today. Peace, baby. We love you. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye, bye.